Hi there, and welcome to Studio Jakara EE. Uh, today I have uh, Edwin here with me. And uh, Edwin, please uh, introduce yourself and um, maybe describe how you are involved in the Jakara EE and the Microsoft communities. Yeah, hello, my name is Edwin Dirks. I am employed as a software architect at Ordina in the Netherlands. Um, I, I uh, am in, involved in the Java community, especially focusing on Jakarta EI MicroProfile, uh, providing a lot of talks, uh, sharing, advocating my experience with these frameworks, uh, also inspiring developers to pick up these frameworks to build their software with, uh, and also like writing a lot of articles, blogs, and everything I, I like to do in the community. Yeah, and, and you have your EclipseCon t-shirt on. So yeah. that means you were at EclipseCon last year. Uh, are you yes. planning to attend EclipseCon this year? It's a virtual event, so you don't have to go yeah. there this year. Yeah, so I had a talk in 2018 and in 2019. Uh, in 2019, I even had a workshop on Jakarta and MicroProfile. Uh, this year I will be visiting as a, uh, as, as a visitor. I don't have a talk, but that doesn't make it... Uh, uh, yeah, I like to go anyway because there's a lot of uh, stuff to to to, uh, to share and uh, to learn about everything that has been done the, the last year. So uh, I can uh, encourage anybody to visit the conference, even if it's now if it's uh, virtual. Yeah, I'm I'm sure they will be happy for that promotion. So um, later this year, actually on on November twentieth, we are releasing Jakarta E nine, and um, what do you think this release will mean to you and, and the community at large? Yeah, so this release is uh, more of a technical release. Uh, a lot of cleanup has been done uh, from Jakarta EE 9, uh, 8 to 9 uh, in order to set it, prepare it for Jakarta EE 10, where we actually are going to and uh, planning to build new features in because uh, since Jakarta EE 8, there is yeah, kind of not really been a feature uh, release, but with the move to the Eclipse Foundation uh, for Jakarta, uh, we are now staging the whole framework to evolve further and, and leave the the, yeah, the the baggage that was uh, that needed to be fixed uh, behind. So I'm really, really looking forward to this new base for Jakarta E to evolve it uh, with all the community input that we can now receive. Yeah, and and maybe the. Most important change is the switch from Java X namespace to Jakarta namespace. Yes. So, so we're kind of disrupting the industry here with this uh, release, even though we're not delivering any features, as you say. But uh, yeah. talking about features, then, uh, if we look ahead a little bit towards Jakarta 10 and, and further, uh, do you have any particular favorite features that you would like to see in the next release? Yeah, uh, not so one, but more evolving on what are, what's already there. Like uh, you have to still have the discussion about uh, should we go for only AGPs or only CDI, which is the the yeah the quote unquote best specification to continue with. Do we need to merge them? Uh, and, yeah, share features, stuff like that. So uh, more evolve the framework with developer input from the community. What is really necessary and desired. Yeah, from a developer's perspective, because they are the ones that built on these specifications, right? Yeah. Also on JTA and Juxar SRR, uh, many desires uh, already collected from the community to, to put into 10. And I think if you do everything, it will blow up. So I think we need to uh, create a nice roadmap for 10, 11, 12 and further uh, yeah. to, to see how Jakarta will evolve uh, with all the desires from the community. Yeah, it, it's interesting that you're mentioning roadmap because we're just about defining the roadmap for Jakarta EE you now. And one of the questions we have there is, how should the release cadence for the platform be? Uh, what's important to know is that we want the individual specifications like uh, Jakarta REST you mentioned and, and the others to evolve as independently as and fast as they want. And, and then the the platform can pick up these changes and release uh, in, in some sort of, of uh, release frequency. And now we have Jakarta E9 coming out about a year after eight. So 
uh, with that kind of leading questions, what kind of release cadence do you think would be nice for 10 and 11? Yeah, and that's, yeah, uh, yeah this, is, this is a big question and I don't really have the answer, but I, I'm really feeling, based on my experience, uh, one of the, the, the reasons Jakarta or Java E before that, the steady and slow release cadence was not, never really a big problem because the, the platform version provided enough features to do my stuff with everything that was desired. So um, on the other side of the fence, on, for, example, for, exactly, uh, for example, Spring, they are evolving for my customers too fast because we didn't need all the features that they brought up in that community. So if you ask me how fast should Jakarta evolve, yeah, maybe a release cadence of the platform once a year could be nice. But what do you do with new features in between? Maybe that you can update the specifications already, release them, and that implementations already uh, release a, for example, Jakarta EE 10 dot something uh, release because uh, there is a specification updated and go to a whole new 11 when the whole platforms can upgrade. So uh, kind of how micro profile is now being done. Like we have an, uh, an, uh, a, a major release once a year and then point releases with new features in, in between. So I think, I feel that there is some uh, yeah, midway there and yeah. not going maybe, from maybe, then, well, yeah. maybe one way of thinking is that if the platform is being released at a steady pace, like one, once a year, for example, like you say, and and uh, each of the individual component specifications are released whenever they want. Yeah. And, and if, if one of the specs release some new features and one of the implementations uh, picks it up, it, it would be treated as, well, it, it, it's not a standard platform thing yet. It's a standard within that com uh, component. So it could be seen as sort of like the preview feature for next release if it's picked up. Yeah, so that means that as a developer on a project, you don't necessarily have to update to these in, yeah, intermediate, intermediate releases because if you don't need the feature, you shouldn't uh, um, yeah, need to update it in your project and maybe go with the yearly release and do a yearly upgrade yeah. uh, once a year. And if you have a need in between, you can, of course, uh, try out the new specification updates. Yeah. So um, in, in your opinion, what, what, is the, what is the significance of Jakarta E and, and why do you think the Java community should, should be interested in Jakarta E? Yeah, the value for me, and I hope uh, that others share that, is because uh, you have this platform and you know how to use that. Uh, these specifications uh, like CDI and Jacques um, they are well known in the community and a kind of a standard that's also being shared outside that, like Spring shares even some specifications. So if you know that base, then you know how to do a enterprise project on a customer and you go to the next one, you can kind of do the same thing there because uh, maybe the, probably the project is kind of the same. You need to build business software. So not needing to learn the same trick over and over again, you can migrate this knowledge to a, uh, a new project. And because uh, every customer can have different uh, internal setup, like the one customer is maybe doing Oracle stuff and others doing IBM and they're doing Red Hat, you can switch implementations without having to yeah, relearn a, a whole platform. And I think that's really valuable as developer to get up to speed really quickly. Yeah, Th I think that was a excellent summary of why you should get involved in the Jakarta e community and why you should uh, look at this te technology. So thank you very much, Edwin. And uh, You're welcome. Uh, I hope to see you more in uh, more of these interviews in Studio Jakarta e And uh, hopefully when we can get, uh, go, get on the road again and travel, uh, we will meet up yes. again at conferences. You're welcome. Happy to share my thoughts.